I greet you with peace and I greet you with love. This is Dr. Gunama and today I want to share a very quick fast soul food with you. I titled this soul food as the secret reason Prophet, the late prophet T.B. Joshua don't use the name Jesus Christ. The secret reason. Please share this video. Share it. Share it. You are, you are going to learn today. <laughs> don't forget my campaign. Our campaign is you must wake up. Yes. So I greet you all with peace and love. Good. I just wanted to test the audio. It's going. Share the video. The secret reason. Oh, there is wind. This four might fall anytime. If don't worry, I will just have to pick it up. The secret reason why the late prophet TB Joshua never used the word Jesus Christ. A lot of people always wonder why this man don't use his name. So many fellow pastors, especially those ones in that can organization. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. But many of them are even confused. Like, why is this man not using this name? He will tell you his name is Emmanuel. So a normal regular pastor mm -hmm. don't understand. And yet, St. T.B. Joshua acts or do things in their eyes more than the others of the same pastors who are in the same box with him. So, what was the secret reasons that made T.B. Joshua never use the name Jesus Christ? Today we're going to expose you to this secret. He will be happy now if he's hearing Oguname telling you this. Because he was not really bold enough to tell you what I'm sharing with you now. He will wish that he had this chance to tell you this. <laughs> For those of you who are like, Hey, but leave this my prophet, leave this. I'm not attacking. You don't understand. I'm too smart to do that. I'm not attacking anybody. His spirit can bear me witness. I am not attacking him or the members or anybody. I am using him as a case of subject because I am a teacher. I have to teach these sleeping people. And if his name is what can permit me to pass my message, then I will do it. Same way you all use the names of our ancestors as demons. Same way you cast and bind our ancestral uh, inheritance. Same way you demonize our culture. We are not doing anything wrong. We are just kind of cleaning the thing you people have put debt on. So don't you mm -hmm. that is uh, writing nonsense or want to do nonsense in my WhatsApp message, don't waste your energy. Even the spirit of TV Joshua don't have that time. So you don't waste your time. If you want to listen, you listen. If you don't want to listen and you feel like you are not resonate with what Oguname is sharing, then no problem. You don't have to be here. <laughs> These are so food. And these teachings are not for everybody. Before you understand my teaching, you have to be first an old soul who have been here before so many times before people become indoctrinated. Then second, you have to have the ability to think and research. And third, you have to be free from anything like judgmental mindsets. When you don't have these three ingredients, then you cannot test this soul food. But then this soul food is not yours. Then this soul food is not yours. Please share it. My second phone is still in my hand again. Share it, share it to our group. Let people come and listen to this beautiful soul food.
So ask me again, what is the secret reason why T.B. Joshua never really used the name Jesus Christ? Because don't forget, according to the doctrine which he projected himself that he's representing, not just him, don't be thinking it's all about him. It's just the case of study. This is bigger. In fact, he don't even have a problem again. He's better than all these ones are alive now. So leave Steve with open mind. That's the only way you can understand Ogunami. So don't forget that these doctrines, all these pastors, Nigerian pastors, this doctrine they are teaching you, hmm, that made you believe in the book, a book that was given to them by their slave masters. So they made you believe this is truth. This is holy book. This is the word of God. And everything here was inspired by God and documented by the men and apostles of God. So this is the book to guide the human family. This is the book to guide everybody to get to where they are going. And inside that book, the book perfectly narrated how the world was full of sin. After God has created sin through Adam and Eve and, po and polluted the world. After God has seen how everything is so polluted. The way he had to send is only because the son. Because he so much loved this world that he created sin on. Now it's only because the son has to be used as a sacrifice to clean this sin. So as long as he has died for this, your sin, that sin, now you are free. You are not born into sin. Although we are still tracking because many people are still sinning today. So we still don't know if Jesus died for some sin and if so. But no problem. Let's just follow your general narrative and understand it. Okay, fine. Now Jesus has died for your sin. So he said, for whoever believeth in him will not perish. That's what your doctrine is teaching. So which means... For you to be a Christian, according to your doctrine, you have to believe in Jesus. And you have to believe in the footstep and the path of Christ. So when you are not in this track, then you are not a Christian. Because Christian means Christ-like. Christian means living the path of Christ. What they never told you is this. What they never told you is this. Christ is a title, not a name. So when they were telling you to follow the path of Christ, you did not ask them which of the Christ. But no problem, let's go back to the teaching. <laughs> so now, this is your story. Go around the whole Nigeria, Africa, the whole world. Whenever you see a pastor holding the book, what they tell you is, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the power of Jesus, so Jesus, 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 Jesus. So Jesus has become the most trained name on earth. After Jesus, you have Coca-Cola. And then the third one is Michael Jackson. So these are the most three popular names here on this dimension that we are living in. Hmm. But why did TV Joshua never subscribe to that name? You the members, I don't know if you have really had the opportunity to ask him. I'm not there, so I don't know if you asked me, I don't know if he gave you answers, so I cannot speak on behalf of what I don't really know, but what I know is, he doesn't subscribe to that name, and what I know is, many of you don't know how to ask questions, because you are expecting miracles, because you are expecting blessings, you just want to get what you are there for, so you cannot question nothing, they will teach many of you, <laughs> they will teach many of you not to question. <laughs> they teach many of you not to question. But now, sit down and ask yourself again. Why did this man not really use the name of Jesus? Since he believed his teaching from the Christianity doctrine. Since he believed Jesus is the Son of God. Since he believed all those fairy tales. But why did he never really teach me this? Could it be that T.B. Joshua knew something that Ogunami knew? Could it be that T.B. Joshua never really fully subscribed to something that you all think you are subscribing to? Or could it be he was too smart than the rest? What was behind there? 
Or could it be he, he doesn't even like the name? So he has to tell you the name is Emmanuel. <laughs> what was behind there? As you are listening, he be commenting. Why do you think he never used that name, Jesus? Why do you think so? Why? Why? If Jesus was that one who turned water into wine, if Jesus was that man who raised the dead, according to your book, if Jesus was that man who walked on top of the water, <laughs> if Jesus was that man who, who, who did all these things, who cast out demons, who, who raised the lepers, who, who cleared leprosy, who hid that woman with issue of blood, according to your book and your doctrines. But why is it now that this man never used his name? But yet, he did everything you people believed he did. But why did he never use this name? Ah, okay, Okunami. Stop asking us why he never used this name. What is this name? So let's start from there. <laughs> What is the name of Jesus? Mm -hmm. What is Jesus? And why was it necessary for T.B. Joshua to use it or not? What is Jesus? Maybe that's the right question. Because since we know now that he never used the name, so no problem, let's put Emmanuel aside and carry the Jesus now and question, what is Jesus? And this question now is, take away the doctrine, take away the story, take away this biblical fairy tales that was composed by great scholars and great minds take away those fairy tales away take away these poems away take away the literature and just follow the energy and the energy here is what is Jesus mm. what is Jesus every day you hear the blood of Jesus power of Jesus Jesus Jesus, Jesus, that. What is that Jesus itself? If you can free your mind and not allow the doctrines or the stories to be the one you are using to interpret him, then Jesus will start making sense to you. But if you don't want to free your mind and you want to use that doctrine, that lies and stories that told you, then Jesus makes no sense. Ogunami, why will you say so? I say so because if we want to follow the story of Jesus, that means we had already different, 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 different Jesus before this Jesus that was introduced to you. Go and read history. I've done the teachings about that. Go to our YouTube channel. The different types of Jesus. Five Jesus existed on earth before the Jesus that was sold to you. The five of them was born a virgin. Five of them raised the dead. Five of them walk on top of the sea. Go and do your research. Five of them walk on top of the sea. Five of them died and wake three days after they died. Five deities. Ancient deities. They existed 3,000 years, 2,000 years, 4,000 years before the Jesus they sold to you. Which they claim existed and they don't even approve of today. Don't forget that fact first. No historical proof yet. It's just all about thinking and believing. That's why they, before you believe, you have to lie to yourself. That's why it's called believing. You'll be lied to yourself. No problem. Let's take it slow. Okay. If we now know that the story and the doctrine don't make sense, so let's cue those stories. Throw it aside. Drag back the, the, the world itself. Jesus. What is this energy? Jesus. Why does it have to seem like we have five mm -hmm. deities before the one they introduced to you? What is synonymous with all these five deities, these five Jesus that was existing thousands and thousands of years before that one from Nazareth which they introduced to you? Hmm. What is synonymous with them? That will take us back to the question, what is this energy of Jesus? And how does this energy really work? And why did they hide this knowledge from you? Why do they make you believe that they are the closest to Jesus and you have to give them the regard for you now to be closer to this same Jesus? How does this happen even? <laughs> In my previous teachings, if you have been following me, I broke down already the consciousness of Jesus. 
I made you know already that Jesus is not one entity or deity that lives outside of you. Jesus is a state of mind and a frequency you tune into. So when you hear Jesus, don't think of that story of somebody they are knocking in the cross. Pa, pa. No, that is a fairy tale for kids. Nothing like that. When you hear Jesus, don't think of one man walking on top of the water. Ta, ta, ta. That is a story for fairy tales for the kids. Nothing like that. So when you hear Jesus, don't think of one white guy with long beards and regala doing all those all those movies they are showing you passion of christ those ones are uh, only uh, hollywood movies those ones has nothing to do with jesus so if these ones these things don't have nothing to do with jesus and i just said jesus is the state of mind and the frequency you tune into so how does this now apply to you where is the jesus now within you so as you are born now when you as a living being become conscious of yourself there is a light that is giving birth to within you. That light now that is giving birth to within you is what activates your full Kundalini energy and puts you in the right part of the universe itself. Because you are a cosmic being, you are a star seed, you are citizens of the of the of the cosmos, you are descendant from the from the universe itself. So when you hear of Jesus, know that they are telling you about a light that exists within you so the light of life is what you carry within you and that right there is jesus they are hiding from you but they brainwash you they direct they, they divert you they make you face another corner thinking it's from here thinking you have to go to bethlehem thinking you have to go to jerusalem thinking you have to be this you have to be that you have to know this book no those ones was to disconnect you and keep you busy doing nothing what they are hidden from you this is a deeper knowledge this is a secret knowledge that is hidden within you so when we talk about jesus jesus is the life force that is living within you so that's your life force that you carry within you that right there that right there that is jesus and the more the fire burn the more the power of that jesus covers you around which we call aura so that blood of jesus you are shouting this is you covering yourself with your own energy and covering everything that is in your own space and time at that moment but they have been washed you to project your mind outside of you so tb joshua was smart he know that no this thing is not something different but he cannot fully tell you the secret so he had to come up with his own name and tell you his name is Imam because why he needed his own program that will run for him no problem we are not yet to judge anybody but the point I'm trying to share here now with you is from today whenever you hear anybody say Jesus know that they don't know what they are talking about you are Jesus and Jesus live within you so you that is so care that is so fast to say brother Jesus found this you may Jesus do this know that you don't have sense somebody will say oh, Gunami, what are you saying I have tested this power Jesus I know this power Jesus is real I am feeling let me tell you what you've tested because you are Jesus that is not conscious of the Christ within you so you are using your powers without you knowing for you to stand in front of something and stand and say I declare in the mighty name of Jesus so something to happen that moment you are doing that you are using your power Jesus is speaking and you are that Jesus that is doing it but because you are ignorant of yourself you think one daddy is in the sky you think one white guy is in the sky no you are the hidden jesus that they have hidden from you so they can make you slave to worship them if only you know you are jesus then you will know you don't need anything to worship them. so when you see people at tv joshua don't use jesus they know the secrets but they were not bold enough to stand as I am standing now to speak to their audience and ask yourself now how many of these so-called giant giant man of God are there today 
is still bold enough to stand like this and tell you I'm sorry. There is no God outside of you. I'm sorry. Jesus does not exist outside of you. Those books are just fairy tales. We are just following it so that we can have a manual of how to teach you because our brain is empty. We don't have divine knowledge. So this manual is our guide to teach you. That's why we tell you open to books, book, book, chapter, verse, because they have to use the book. The book is the manual of the machine. So because you have become a robot, the book becomes your manual. Mm -hmm. They use it controlling you. So the question now is, how long do you think this manual can keep on running? How long? And you are surprised today why, why the young generation don't care about you? No, this is the old system. And you can't update it because it is over. We need something fresh because we're in the age of Aquarius. Those lies don't have space no more. Few years from now, all your churches will be empty. All these so-called man of God, we all die. All these things we end. You that don't want to believe now, you will be the one confused. Don't know where to run to. Because you see this church and call it your house. You pray with the God of Oyedipo. You pray with the God of Joseph Suleiman. You still don't know you are the God that they are using. Because you don't know yourself, you make them remain relevant. And for those of you jumping to my comment session, <laughs> come into disgrace and fool yourselves that you don't know anything. Listen. When you hear fresh information, list. When you can't listen, go away. Go away. Stop disgracing yourself. At 2021, if you still don't know that the book is a lie, then there is something wrong with you. I will repeat it. At 2021, if you still don't know that something is wrong with that book, that that thing, that book cannot be truth, that means your brains are not correct. Because why? Tell me, which God will tell you to hate your own ancestors? Which God will tell you to hate the nature and the forces of nature around you which he creates? So any God that is telling you to hate your ancestors and hate the forces of nature that come with you to life, that God is a slave breeder. That God needs a slave, not a man. And that's why you have all become the slaves of your God. You kneel down and cry to your God. No, our ancestors don't kneel down and pray. Our ancestors stand and demand and bear nature to manifest what they want. That is the power they took from you. Now you're begging, you beg, you beg, you beg for everything. Father, Lord, please, Father, Lord, please. Your nails are peeling like slaves, and you still can see it. Meanwhile, those that don't pray live more better than you. You still don't get it. Mm -hmm. eh, you still don't get it. And when you hear Gunaman speaking, you are like, God will punish you. God will do this. And your God will just shake his head like, I wish you know how dumb you are, my friend. You will just keep quiet and listen to this man. What wrote me? You are Antichrist. You are the sons of Anton. Really? Eh? So, uh, you people are still looking for Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> you people are still looking. You people are still looking for anti antichrist. <laughs> you, <laughs> oh, Africa, this thing uh, You're still looking for antichrist. You're still pointing fingers. You calling people names. You're still accusing people. You're still saying you are this, you that, you this, you that. You, you're still judging people. Even when your book tells you don't judge, that you still do it. Because you don't accept the book. You are just scared of hellfire. That's why they gave you hair. So they threaten your hearts. So because of the fear, you have to go to church. You have to stay holy. So you can try to make heaven. How wish you can really be holy? 
then we will not have problem. We will be happy. At least there is a program that contains your physical nature, which don't make you constitute nuisance. But you are still not holy. Now, now still they do bad past. Now, now still they fool which couple pass. See the other one that day. You are your friend. Do not fly. Come meet me for a night because you say I talk to your man of God. So, meaning you now witch. You now your normal witch. So why are you gonna come? <laughs> <laughs> Why you call the complaint say they talk about your man of God where you they fly? <laughs> so the level of the misunderstanding in your community today is too much. And the problem we are having is so many people are profiting from these lies. So because so many people are profiting. Everybody's trying to protect the lies because they are profiting from it. But guess what? Ogunami has come, the time has come, those lies don't have space anymore. They don't have space anymore. And the earlier you know this, the better it is for you. So whenever you sit down and wonder why the TB Joshua never really called Jesus, why he never really used those words the way other ones are using it, know that he knows something that many of those other ones don't even have idea. That's why his, his own is better now. A dead TV Joshua is better than the living giant Nigerian pastors and prophets alive today. I will repeat it. A dead TV Joshua is better than the living all the so-called prophets and pastors and bishops today. Don't you see their character? No, no, guy. Eh? You don't see their character? Christianity in Nigeria now has become franchise companies. They they jealous each other. The target of all these so-called men of God now, all of them they use aha uh -huh, TV Joshua member now. Since their father don't die, their God don't die, may they come their side. That is all they are interested about now. Mm. So because of that reason, they can say anything they want. They can say anything they want. Just to make the, some of the members feel like Oh, Papa is there. Let me go to this man instead. You see, you see your Christian family. This is a programmed machine running, and your so-called men of God they took it as a business. They are all protecting their interests. Whether TV Joshua and Fake, whether than Rio, Unawe so na be Christian. We are not supposed to come out, come sympathize. The only go be national morning. All of them will do morning for even do service in a giant crusade to take celebration, even if it's a fake. Since we are believe in heaven, we want to pray for and make God still accept his soul. But we are too wicked. That's what she'll say. I don't know. I remember that we don't do all those things already. That's what she'll say. We are not, not going to give a fuck about anything. All you just care about now. I must start the pay last Sunday. And not to tell me, she'll say next week Sunday offering increase. And not to tell me, she'll say that your daughter. Where you open business for, I try to take the deliver the balance steady. Una be like pimp with the people na members. That's what you are. You are just a pimp. Now the position na members say they build up una enterprises. You you just need money. That's all. And the fame and power, of course. And for a person like me, I don't really have a problem with that because nothing nothing is wrong with money. Nothing is wrong with money. Like me, my spiritual work, I charge for it. Because I use time, energy, and everything to work for you. But just be honest to them. Let them know this is what you do. Let me hear kind of from Go and take care of your deity. Throw away your deity. Meanwhile, you have a lot of deity in your bedroom. And you are telling your members to go and throw away their own deity. That is wickedness. You are loose guarding them. You will tell them, don't have anything to do with ancestral home. Meanwhile, you have a ring from your great-grandfather, which you took from the shiram of your great-grandfather, which you are using as a protection. And you are telling your member, go and destroy your ancestral altars. So you are brainwashed Nigeria now to the point that Nigeria is so chaotic, now you are all useless and silent. You don't even have nothing to say because you have never really cared about them. Look at war is coming to Nigeria. And you are out there. Must be the open church. 
Bona they are pissing Nigerians never wake. To say they don't wake, eh? To say Nigerians don't wake, eh? Una for no day here again. again. So now make una they happy. You guys are just happy that they are sleeping. Because you know that it's them. <laughs> so these sleeping people now, they are thinking tribe is their problem. Politics is their problem. They still don't have sense to know that you have introduced alien gods to them. And they have used their own hand to pack their own ancestral god and throw away. And now they are slaves kneeling down in presence of the alien god, begging for every single thing. And you still wonder why people are poor. Eh? So you see, they wonder why people are poor. Mm, no problem. So that's just what I want to share with you. Like I said, it's a very quick one. I don't want to stretch it too long. Just know that TB Joshua never really give a fuck about your Jesus because he know nothing like that. He know that you are all his karma. So he just have to invent his own so that he can have a new name. They all know the source they are tapping into. They all know the secret that you are not permitted to be exposed to. So if you want to be a blind follower, be there. Hate yourself, not to Ogunami. Be there. Write nonsense, not to Ogunami. Just be, you are the only one sleeping. They know what's going on. Ask yourself, for their churches, which person name they put for their churches? Ask yourself, which person name they the bank accounts? The, 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 the university, how many of your children they enter there? The hospital, how many of you don't go there? These are your personal business. You just think you are a member of your church hospital. Have you been ever treated for free? Your children don't ever get scholarship, they go to university for free? The church boss don't ever come to your house, come carry you for free? They're just a tools. That's what you have. But your ego, pride, no, let you accept. Because no, the moment you accept, you'll come be like saying you'll be fooled. So your ego will not accept that. So because of that, you will defend it. No, no, you it's just your ego. We know. And we are sorry to always make you feel like that. But just ego trap. If you surrender and you accept, then you can see the truth. But if you don't surrender and accept, then you will always be trapping your ego. And before you know it's too late. It's just too late. And then nobody can really help you. Nobody can really help you. Nobody can really help you. So I'll be dropping this here for now. I send you peace. Send you love. Just know that he knows better. He knows better. And so because he knows better, he acts wiser. And that's why they are all jealous of him. That's why they are all jealous of him. Because they are like, hey, see the new format with this matter, it can't still blow. That's why they are jealous of him. With the new two, I know. Let me show you a secret. With this little I know, if I just bring a Bible now and say, God called me, in six months I'll get congregation away full past many of my church. All I have to just do now to the lie to you. Meanwhile, I'm going to use the same thing way follow me called life naturally. Mm -hmm. So TV Joshua was a living deity of his own. They were too scared of your ignorance to tell now the truth of himself. So he rather sell what he knows so now buy. The same thing where the rest they cash you now. Now no, no one wake. No, no one wake. Africans, you don't want to wake. You want to be sleeping. Look at Nigerians. 230 million people according to the new calculation this year. 230 million people, 120 million people below the level of poverty. Tell me, does that look like a society where God for the exists? As Unate believes a God day? Ask yourself, question yourselves.
time don't come like I tell you. Una must wake up. Eh? Una must wake up. You see the way Unate threaten us. Say if you don't give your life to God, you will die perish. Now you want to come up to Una so. Una says us go flog Una. But you have all committed treason against your ancestors. You deny your ancestral heritage. Since we follow you call life. You push them aside because of one lie when some group of people don't package your book, come give you. Did you know what King James did? He invited great, great scholars, literature, poets, people with their vast in knowledge, in knowledge, he called them together and carry ancient scripts and they start composing a book when you, they call it a book today. Because you don't know literature, you don't know poems. So you, you read it, you believe, you don't know the words are not real. You don't know. So when they tell you, for God so loved the world and he gave his holy begotten son, you are not really the think, ah, God, do oh, ah, you nice, so you give us your only picking. That was how I was thinking when I was a child. Ah, you don't know I was once there. Of course I was once there. I grew up with my uncle. Let me tell you a little bit of my background story. I grew up with my uncle. This yes, my uncle was a rev is still a reverend. At the age of primary five, I was living with him. I was the choir master of the children choir. Mm -hmm. Now we the quick they go church with the key of our church. Then I don't want to call the ministry name. Now we the go church with the key of our church. Then now we go sweep the altar, clean the chair, clean and dust all the instrument, make sure say we are ready Sunday service before you even wake up for house. I grew up, so ask yourself, how can a little cute boy who grew up inside a church become a Guname? <laughs> ask yourself, I tell you, who cash out, where for cash out? Some of you are so Guname, you are possessed. Really? <laughs> if this is how to be possessed, then I want to remain being possessed. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Every day I'm being exposed to things that many of you don't even have idea of that they exist. So when we are talking about these things, we don't hate you. We don't hate your religion. We don't hate your your whatever. We don't we are trying to help you. Because we have been exposed to secrets you don't know. We have been exposed to secrets you don't know. There was a day I was permitted to see mm -hmm. our cage goddesses, queens. On the name of religion, great, great women. They are all cash on the name of religion. Or in the name of religion. Great, great people. You are all cage. Now you then kneel down, become a beggar in the church, begging one alien white deity, which you don't get any idea of. Hmm. You do you. And we go still want to educate you now. In case you are right, come and give your life to Christ. Do you know Christ? Do you even know Christ is a title? Do you even know? So what we are talking about is deeper than what your small brain can think. It's deeper. So it's time to start paying attention. Start doing research. Start asking questions. Don't just sit down. You hear Gunama, you believe. You hear this one, believe. No, study. Help yourself. Travel. Learn new things. Meet different people. Go to a different community. Meet different people. Ask them, how is your life? How is your culture? What do you watch? It? Okay, if you can't find yourself people for Japan, don't give a fuck about Jesus. Yet, you need to ask yourself, okay, how did they become masters of technology? Did they create all these technologies are where they do what they use if they don't even know Jesus meaning in no concern Jesus concern wisdom in no concern Jesus concern knowledge in no concern wisdom concern what so Jesus not just one image what you they think on your head say they exist only inside your head nothing really they exist for your reality so wake up simple why they are <laughs> why they are doing that not just your head it day it's just in your head I can teach you how you how you will know it's just in your head. I can show you something. Your pastor don't like this thing. <laughs> your pastor don't like this thing. But I can teach you something for free. For free. For you to know if Jesus is real or not. I have just brought down the spirit and the energy of Jesus to you. Which means you are Jesus. Okay. 
if you are Jesus, meaning you carry the power of Jesus within you. Mm, okay, so now if you carry that power of Jesus within you, so meaning you don't need to scream Jesus, you feel even call your name. Ah, okay, because why you not that Jesus? So you just only the think of Jesus because somebody projects to you that Jesus come, mm -hmm. did everything, and now he have left. Someday he will come back with his army to come and judge and rapture and blah, 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 will take place. Okay, so you are waiting for a dead spirit that have ascended. Oh, no, sorry, it's not dead spirit. You believe the, en the energy is here, the spirit is here, right? The spirit is still here working, and that is what is helping you. But this spirit now is working through you, meaning without you, this spirit is useless. Okay, fine. If that's the case, then push your church aside, push your Bible aside, push those stories aside. Just kneel down and call your own head. Worship your own head for 14 days and come tell me what you see. May we know your head and Jesus, which one get power pass. How many of you don't worship on our head? Ogunami, it don't make sense. How can you worship your head? Yes, because your head, this is your re, from center here, there is a spring where it connects you to the cosmos itself. Now, they are the life force. They always come in and out of you. Whether you see or you not see, you not change the reality. Say where the stars be. You see the star, you don't see the star. Stars are always there. Now, so this knowledge still be. So, if you know now that your head is connected to the source itself, so why not tap into your own source, your own energy itself, and bring out the best from that? Why keep on following one alien doctrine that was cooked and planned and prepared to make you slave? You are the God they are behaving. They know if you know what I am telling you now, then you are free forever. So for that reason, you will, they will not want you to know that. They will give you a book. They will tell you they are the one that will take the message from him to you. And you will look up to them to wish mm -hmm. that Jesus. Even Jesus didn't even tell you people to do it like this. I call it to even the book. Why the laugh of a <laughs> Sorry, I the laugh now and I go always the laugh you. Why the laugh African Christian is this? If the book was real, then you are not even practicing it the way the book said you should practice it. So in both ways you have been fucked and confused. Jesus don't tell you anything when you your pastor they tell you now. Evil tells, uh, according to the book, evil said to the disciples, say, some will come and say, they will say, I am Christ. Meaning Jesus never tells you, saying, I am Christ. But you, they call him Christ. But not be me, or are straighten on our lies. We, they focus on the, to uproot the whole thing, come up for there. Because that plantation now, is where they are now breeding slaves in Africa. And since more than 400 years, all we do in Africa is building hate, slaves, hate, slaves, division, war, hate, slaves. And that is exactly the techniques they have been using to control us. That is exactly the techniques. Mm -hmm. They have been using to put us in check. So ask yourself, how long can we keep on repeating this old pattern that is not working for us? If you are honest, you will know that Christianity is not favoring us. As a people, you know they favor us. It's no good for our head. I know why. Because many of you are special also, older than the Jesus you are trying to worship. Yes, I will rephrase it again. The book of your Jesus, your Bible story, everything in the Bible, from the beginning, book of Genesis to the end, everything is 7,500 years old. And the story of even is in a real Abbasena, just listening. And the story of Jesus, up from the beginning to now, is 2,605 years old. Okay, now you will be old so of 20,000 years old. Oromila, Oromila, where Yoruba people they worship, is 17,000 years old, meaning if father already seen your Jesus Bible, Abraham, Moses, all of them put together. Hinduism is already 10,000 years old, meaning. <laughs> so, what is wrong with you? You also, you also want to be worshipping 
a baby deity and you expect and, and confuse why your life not the work you know you work because why your own head strong past the god where they want me you worship and i make you dead the church you confuse and because the pastors cannot help you they can't tell you the truth or many of them don't know the truth and some who know the truth will never tell you because they have to protect their own business so because of that they will just keep on putting you on the wish to just be rolling to just be rolling so you will not just take it as normal social gathering so your church now is just nothing but a social gathering where you they gather all these confused and brainwashed people to come to feel useful and alive with yourself meanwhile deep down their soul their soul is starving and they have nothing to feed you with. your soul is starving you must wake up oh. <laughs> you must wake up this one now, we know the self talking again, can kind they of pity for you. No, we want to shake your gates. We will shake them. So that your spirit will sleep without the uh, where they snow inside our cage. Go wake up. That when he see us, go no say the warriors don't come. The protectors don't come. Those who want to rescue you don't come. But no problem, you can be there deceiving yourself. You can be there brainwashing yourself. Can be there saying, I bounced, I can't you. I bounced, I cast you. Oh, I bounced, I cast you. Like one writes me for face for, for WhatsApp. He sent me a voice note. That was even the most funniest part. As you hear my voice now, look at this is exactly the words he used. As you hear my voice now, I command the spirit of God, Jesus, to deliver you. Deliver, deliver. After I play the voice, I I really listen to him because me I get patient. Me, me, Ogunami, I get patient. No na now make me the softy do my thing like snail. I know they run, I know they rush. Everybody know me put with the softy waka like snail. I, I get patient. I listen five minutes complete. I see the prayer close. I I come the things okay. Okay, no problem. I but say I really they possess. Uh -huh. Maybe not this one uh, in a uh, uh, person who I don't know now go come hear me. So my I close my eye, close my eye. Maybe one flashlight go up and we are. One Jesus go really jump, come out, we are. Come save me, we are. I, I, I go ahead uh, hey, tomorrow. I'll come live Facebook and say, Glory, glory, hallelujah. Oh, single, single. Now, me, I can't even preach the gospel. Now, I know, say, now, wait till now they wish for. There you see. You know work. You know work. Tell you the people may invite Oguname to come to church. May deliver Oguname. I want to deliver me. Since when they deliver demons, right? And you believe, say I'm a demon. You to know is TB Joshua never used the name of Jesus. Because he know better. He know nothing like that. But he was not bold enough to tell na say even the book itself na lies. Yes. Even the book itself now lies. I have challenged that the freeze, the so-called Bible defender in Nigeria. I have told that the freeze. I want me and you to do debates. Let's tell the world how does Bible relate to the black man? Bible is a slave code where they tell me black men slaves. So any fucking person out there using it to teach our black people, you are a slave breeder. You they breed slaves. You they do the job you are being paid to do. You know they do the work of our ancestors and the work of the will of our nature. You be our enemy. That's the facts. And you be the reason why Africa no go grow. You be the reason why Africa they backward because now they carry the God with you now. They give that the Jesus on sky. We na no even see. So it can't make una become empty. So Jesus is not out there. Jesus is in here. Jesus and that life first. And Jesus be that. Why my heart not your stop? May you think kinda why not your stop? You know they work like that. Because Jesus, they come from within. We don't know all these things already. So we want may you know them. May you wake up. They lie to you. But with time, you will surely get it. Now process. I went through my own process. I mm. got it. You will surely get it. That's why we now will not stop. We will bring you the message. It's a soul food. Your soul needs them. 
You know they both appear say they hear the thing, but you the one that say you still the listing. And your soul know why you still the listing. Even if you verse come out today, tomorrow you'll still come back again, come listing. Yes, your soul know exactly the why. You now never understand. Because you are be disconnected from your soul. And no gunam and overcall. I am that door between you and your soul. The more you gaze at me, the more you they open to your own source. I help you, they help you. I help you, they help you. Normally, you suppose they pay for any words we come out for our mouths. But we have already been paid. That's why we're not going to charge you. <laughs> I said you peace and love. Let's leave it here for today. TV Joshua was smart. And for his members who think you, I hate your daddy, no. I love him. If not for anything, for his humanitarian and philanthropic nature. For that, I will always give him that rest. Imagine all the other mumu they do at least that one. We for don't they still complain. Huh? So at least he, he tried, he did his best. That is fact. We don't feel take that fact from him. He did his best. So the only thing is just that I just wish he was bold enough to tell her to not know the truth. What is the truth in this case? Say nothing like the book. I don't even give a fuck about the book. I was saying, I was saying, you can't carry the book. But you people need dead something where people don't feel like that they can't come like that. But no problem. We have come now. We'll set everything right. <laughs> bye bye for now. Bye bye. Okay. My laugh small. My already commented laugh small. When I comment, I laugh at the user laugh. It's always very funny for me. Uh, you say, I don't laugh. Hmm. I'm not seeing your comment. But just know that. In that day, in that day there, nothing day there. You see this cloud where you see so, see, 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 cloud. You see this cloud where you see so. Nothing day the cloud. Nothing day the cloud. So why you they will see and see blue now because of the ocean, the reflection of the ocean. That's why you see the cloud always blue. Does not mean that the cloud is blue. The cloud not get shape, you not get shape and color. So when you just come now water, water here they see so this thing they see so now water. So when you just come out from here. You got the open space with that. And that open space where you did so, me, me, according to my own knowledge, space now the reflection of this information where they inside of you. So the more you they gaze into space, the more you they see the series of your DNAs, all those stars, galaxies, things where they see, those one are your inner information. NASA, they lie to people because all of them drain the program where one minute they look for things outside of you. Nothing that exists outside of you. Now we be the universe where it manifests as flesh. I call you my God because you can be the perfect creature where it manifests this universe into flesh. So we now the only thing where you need to think of after we the other things where they exist now the next dimension not be this reality again this 3d dimension is full of material so the next dimension can go deeper and they're going to see super beings great great beings so normally does your jesus now real soon the thing can in go they exist now it will say now we for the exist now for the next dimension but for that next dimension it will be clear because they were great 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 being even before they ever think to bomb mary so it's deeper stuff man i don't feel expect you to just pick it easily but just know that Stevie Joshua never used Jesus because he know better. And you have to start waking up and do your own fucking research before you come and jump there in sort of you know, I love you and nothing will change that. In fact, my prayer for you, mm, my prayer for you is that your own soul should locate you and show herself to you. The day you will see your soul, all this your madness go stop. We will never see anything. The day when your own self go go appear before you, not a person will tell you say Jesus story in a fantasy. This is how this mumu thing when they do. No problem. I all live in. I don't want to turn out to verse verse thing. <laughs> bye bye for that. My prayer I want to turn to verse. I don't want verse. <laughs> I don't want verse. Just know that. Those stories not be real and wake up, wake the fuck up, man. Mm -hmm. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Your soul will locate you so that you will be exposed to your own mystery. If then you will see yourself. Now you're going to warn your pastor, say, don't call my number again. You're going to know the lies, whether they tell you. You're going to know. 
You will be king go to me down for one small boy. Go to bring your head down. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. I ain't.